everybody, welcome back to my channel, Made with Love. My name is Heather, and today I am going to be making black rice or forbidden rice in my rice cooker. So this is my rice cooker. I got a couple weeks ago, second hand at the yard sale. It didn't have the instructions. I've been kind of looking up trying to figure out how to use it. I do have another rice cooker. I do you like to use. I also have the rice cooker setting on my uh, not the crock pot, the instant pot, that's what it's called, but I haven't had a chance to use that. I just, I love the, how small and compact the rice cooker is. Uh, I know it's one more thing I have sitting in my kitchen cupboard, but I find it lighter, smaller, uh, for the amount of rice I'm cooking, it's the right size. So I'm going to be doing the, the black rice. I've already measured out two cups and I've already rinsed them. I didn't rinse it clear like I normally do. Uh, with the black rice, when you rinse it, you'll get rid of some of the good nutrients, but I do like to give my rice a quick, um, just a quick little rinse. I'm just gonna grab a spoon. Thought I had everything in front of me and I, I forgot to grab a spoon. So I'm just putting this in the instant or in my rice cooker. I'm just trying to get every little grain of rice out of this bowl here. I'll just move this down so you can see what I'm doing. And then so I've got my rice cook my rice in the rice cooker now to this I have to add well for one cup of rice you need uh, one tablespoon of vegetable oil one and three quarter cups of water or your stock and half a teaspoon of salt so this is my black rice I just had to move it out of my way so I'm gonna start with the stock now it says Beef, or it says uh, chicken or vegetable. All I have is beef, so I'm going to use beef stock. I don't know if this is going to change the flavor of it. Probably well, but I think the stock is sometimes a little healthier than just straight water. Couldn't find my extra big measuring cup tonight, so I'm just using the one cup. I'm do one cup. I've got two cups of rice, so I'm going to do another cup. And then a three-quarter cup, and then another three-quarter cup. Well, I guess you could do another whole cup and then half a cup, but sometimes it's just when I'm trying to do this, it's easier if I just do one and three-quarter cup and then a second time of one and three-quarter cup. Just makes it easier sometimes. There's still some a little bit of broth left in here, so I'll be cooking some noodles uh, with this to go with the rice. I'm going to give this a quick little stir. I haven't turned my rice cooker on because it's sitting here, uh, it's not a safe place, so I'll be moving it to the other counter. And then, so it's, I haven't turned it on yet, but when I turn it on, it's just, I just have to press this little lever down, and it's such a simple one, there's nothing um, impossible about this, you can't get wrong, there's nothing, you just press it down, and when it thinks it's done, it turns off. All right, so I'm using these measuring spoons. I haven't had a chance to use this set yet. It's such a cute little set. Uh, one of my daughters had gotten this for me for Mother's Day. So they're all measuring spoons are all shaped in hearts. Uh, it was from Claire's. And then it's on the back, it tells you the amounts, but on the front it has the cutest little sayings. So on the quarter teaspoon, it says a dash of kindness. Make these to separate. Uh, a half teaspoon one says a sprinkle of cool, and the one teaspoon says a spoonful of care, and the one tablespoon says a heap of love. So I need two tablespoons of my oil, so I'll be using the biggest one. And my bottle does say olive oil. This is just regular vegetable or canola oil. I'm not sure which one. My plastic, the container that this oil, what's in here had come in, had cracked in the pantry. So I had to top these up. So this might be, I don't know. One is um, all the 
vegetable oil. One is a half and half of vegetable oil and olive oil. So I'm not sure what oils I'm using at the moment, but it happens, you know, container breaks and you have to, you don't want to lose your stuff. So I just need one, two, oh, the way this is coming out, this is the straight canola oil, I can tell. And then it also says you need a half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just gonna, up my Himalayan pink salt. I'm just going to grind some up and then take this off and just sprinkle it in. There we go. So we've got the rice, the liquid, the salt, and the oil. I'm just going to move this to the other counter and then all I'll do is just push this button here straight down and it will turn off when the rice is done. So I will be back when my rice is cooked. Actually, while I'm waiting for the rice, I just thought I'd see how much. I've got about half a cup of the beef uh, broth left. So I'm gonna cook uh, one pack of these instant noodles. Um, I buy mine from Super Source. It's just the no-name one. They're like the ramen noodles. So I'm just gonna swing the camera around and show you how I'm gonna cook it. into my pot and it says you need two cups of liquid so there's a half a cup of the beef broth and a cup of water and I think that's enough I never do a full uh, two cups of liquid I just I like mine less liquid so I'm just gonna have to wait for these to cook so I'll be back in just about about three to four minutes, so I will be back when the noodles are cooked. All right, so my noodles are cooked. I'm just going to pour them into my cup here. And now I'm going to add the packet of spice. And this is beef flavored, and I use that bit of that beef stock, so now I've got really nice flavored cup of instant noodle soup. If I had more time, if I, if I had any green onions, uh, carrots, peas, corn, anything that makes veggies, I would always throw them in too, but I don't have any tonight. So there is my nice bowl of uh, instant noodle soup while I was just using up the last little bit of the beef broth. Because I always find if I put the little amount of beef broth in the fridge, it'll probably not get used. So I'm just waiting for my rice to finish cooking, so I'll be back as soon as the rice has finished cooked. All right, my thing just popped, telling me that it was done cooking. So it pops, now it's just on the keep warm. So I'm just gonna lift up the lid and do a quick stir to show you what it looks like. So here is my black rice, or forbidden rice, just gotta Unplug it. I'm just going to grab a bowl to put my rice in. So I can lift it up. You can see what it looks like. Now, to this, I'm not sure what I'm going to add to, to this. Um, you know, my husband likes to make rice and he just adds a can of tuna. I like to usually cook fish or something or chicken on the side. I don't have any, well, I, I do have fish and chicken, but they're in the deep freeze frozen, but I just wanted to cook up something different for supper, so I decided to cook this rice, so I'll probably just end up, um, I'll wait till my husband gets home, and then he will add a can of tuna to his liking. I'll probably just eat this rice straight. But there we go. I got a nice amount. Oh, there's still lots of rice down here. I thought I had it all pulled out. There's still a couple little scoops left. Still another two scoops left. But I will get that out in a second. But I've got a nice amount of cooked rice. I will say the first time I cooked this, 
uh, on the stove and I was stirring all my utensils stained purple. Uh, the pot I was using got stained purple. So just so you know, cooking the black rice, it will dye your stuff purple. If you're wearing uh, anything white or light colored, I did that too. I prepped my clothes. I spilled rice while I was eating it. Our counters are dark, but I'm sure people who've got lighter colored counters, it could stain. But there we go. That is the black or forbidden rice done in my rice cooker. I'm just going to quickly look at the time. I think it took about 40 45 minutes to cook it, to cook two cups of rice in the rice cooker. Okay, so I just wanted to say again, uh, thank you to everybody who's subscribing to my channels, watching my videos and sharing my videos, and I will see you all in my next ones. Bye.